I'm Sandy Peterson, and pretty soon we have a crowdfunding campaign for my new game, The Gods War, coming up. We have decided that the best way to let you people see what The Gods War is like is to actually give you a copy of it to play with, for the campaign even. So if you're interested in Gods War, you can download this print and play version of the game, cut out and assemble the pieces, and play it, and then decide to back it. Of course, you can play it even if you don't back the campaign, but in that case you should feel a little bit guilty. There's several files included in the print and play that you'll need to print out to use. One of them is the print and play paper files, basically, which are files you just use ordinary paper for. One of them is the rule book. Print out the rule book, and you have a rule book you refer to during the course of the game. The other is the, the paper supplements. One of these items in the paper supplements is the faction sheets. There's four faction sheets, one for each player. They just print out an eight and a half by 11 paper. Every player gets one. These, of course, are not what the final sheets will look like, but they'll, they're perfectly serviceable for the print and play. The next thing you're going to print out, also paper, it's actually in the same file with the faction sheets, is the victory track. Uh, some people like to cut out the white part from the victory track so it looks fancier and more formal. Of course, in the final game, it will be cardboard and there won't be the white part anyway. But this, again, this victory track will work perfectly well. Keep track of your victory points and game events that are triggered by victory point levels. The last thing you're going to find in your paper files that you print out is going to be heaven and hell. Because in this game, you can go to heaven, you can go to hell, as well as to the, uh, the map. Now, your files are actually going to be bigger than these. This is just a shortened version I did for showing in the video. Um, but you print them out and they'll go to the side of the map. Units can go there, they can build cities, they can fight. It's just another part of the map, really, but it's separate from the main map, because heaven and hell aren't on the surface world. The most awkward part of the print and play for a person at home creating it is going to be the map. The map is quite large, it's, it's several feet across, and what you're going to have to do is take this, take that file down to a local print house or Walgreens or someone like that and have them print out the map for you. I recommend that if you do that, you may also want to have it laminated. Uh, not only does it look nicer and doesn't smudge, but it will lay flatter. And then you'll have your map. Now. There's two files in the print and play that you're going to want to print off on cardstock. Now, if your printer doesn't print on cardstock, again, you may want to take it down to a, a printing place, you know, Kinko's or something, or you could print them out on paper and then glue them to cardstock. I've done that myself. The easiest way to get cardstock to glue them onto is, frankly, to buy a deck of playing cards and cut them up, glue them on that. So, in the cardstock documents, there's one that is the game supplement pieces. So there's your your uh, your gifts, they work like Cthulhu Wars spell books. There's um, the hit cards, and there's the runes. Now the runes really need to be on cardstock because you're going to print them out, you're going to cut them out, and you're going to be shuffling them and making a deck of runes to draw from. These spell books, or these gifts, are not shuffled, but you still, you still want to be sturdy because you spend a lot of time with them. The hardest part of creating the print and play for us was trying to put together figures for you to use. Now, the issue is that the figures we have for God's War are really awesome. They're these big, dynamic, active looking figures, uh, some of them as big as or bigger than Cthulhu Wars. Well, I mean, we couldn't include these in the print and play because you can't print these. So instead, what we have done is we have got cardboard things that you can cut out and fold together. I'm going to show you how. So in the standy section we have all the units you need to make for the fig for the units of the game. These are these are monsters and cultists, well not cultists, uh, minions, heroes, and buildings. And each one comes on its own separate sheet like this. This is the storm faction and there's the darkness faction. All the factions are in here. Uh, and what you're going to do is, <clears throat> you're going to cut them out around the lines, there's an explanation of how to do it. And so for the buildings, you cut out the building, preferably on cardstock, and then using glue, I recommend Elmer's, but anything will do, any kind of white glue, or really super glue if you're careful, and glue it onto a cardboard counter, or a penny, or a poker chip, or whatever you want. Here I'm using uh, chips from an extra Theomaki game I have. 
but you can use anything. The idea is that it stands a little ways off the map. You can pick it up, move it around, and it's easy to slide and do things with. Now, in the case of the chaos nests for chaos, you're going to have to do a little more work because the chaos nest can be flipped over either side. So what you have to do in them, you glue one of the the embedded map on one side of the chip and then the regular chaos nest on the other side like this so you can flip it over and play to show that you've embedded the nest. It's not really very hard and awkward but you just have to know how to do that. <clears throat> so with the figures they're gonna come out like this a long rectangle. You fold them in the middle and then you fold out the bottom and make two little tabs. Then you glue or tape the tabs onto the base. Again, you could use a penny, you can use a cardboard disc like I'm doing, you can use a poker chip, any kind of, you can use uh, those plastic markers they give you in your Access and Allies game, any of that'll work. And they have a nice little stand up figure, has the name of the unit and his rank and all that kind of stuff. Now, when I say it's nice, it's only nice as a standee because compared to the real figures, which are much more grand and spectacular. This is the same unit. Uh, and of course, this is really cool, and that's why we're hosting the Kickstarter, so you can get your hands on one of these someday. When you finish all this work, which really should only take you an hour or two tops, then you'll have a full copy of the God's War core game that you can play with four people. It doesn't have the expansions or add-ons or extra factions, but it's the complete game. You can play it all the way through, you can enjoy it, you can test it, you can see what you think, you can try different strategies, and you can get a solid feel for what the game is like. Of course, we're doing this in consideration that you will play the game, love it, and then want to support our upcoming Kickstarter campaign for the God's War. Please keep us in mind.